Welcome to Calculated Keto. This is day five of the first week of our keto meal plan. If you haven't had a chance to watch our previous videos, go back and watch them. There's some great recipes in there, good, some good meals. So this morning, we're just gonna start with a smoothie, and then part two of the breakfast is gonna be doing the overnight oats uh, that we did on day one. And to start, this smoothie is a, it's, I don't know what to exactly call it, but it's kind of like a cold hot chocolate um, or like a frozen hot chocolate smoothie. It's gonna be a little bit minty, tastes delicious, I think you'll really like it. But we're just gonna start with one and a half to two cups of water, or you can use almond milk. Um, we don't because it's more expensive to do it that way. But we're gonna add in about 85 grams of spinach at first. Okay, and then we're gonna add in half an avocado. And I usually like to blend it up after this just so we can get all the ingredients packed in there. And then next we're gonna add in three tablespoons of 100% cocoa powder. And then next we're gonna add in about half a scoop of chocolate whey protein powder. This is the one that we use, it's very low carb. And then next, we're gonna be adding in about a fourth a teaspoon of some pure peppermint extract. You can do a little bit less, but I like mine to be a little bit more minty. Okay. And then next, it's gonna sound a little bit weird, but adding in some cinnamon. We used it without it for a while and then we just decided to add a little bit of cinnamon and it actually tastes pretty good. So we're gonna do about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, and then we're just gonna sweeten it with about 12 to 15 drops of stevia. Okay, and then just add in some ice. Okay, and then we're just gonna blend it up. All right, it's all blended up. Let's give this a try. That's really good. Especially if you like like a mint hot chocolate, then I think you'll really like this. All right, so now to part two of our breakfast this morning. Okay, so the second part of breakfast is overnight oats, which we did on day one for breakfast. And it's not really oats, we actually just add three tablespoons of hemp hearts, two tablespoons of chia seeds, and one tablespoon of flax seeds. Um, and we put in two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, half a scoop of vanilla whey protein powder, and 12 drops of liquid stevia with a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg to spice it up. Um, but we really enjoy it. Uh, the full calories, carbs, and costs for breakfast is 659 calories, 10.2 net carbs, and cost $3.26. And so you just make this uh, overnight oats um, the night before, stick it in the fridge, and then it gelatinizes, um, and it's really good, so give it a try. All right, guys, just taking a break to eat some lunch. Like I've mentioned in past videos, anytime that we can cook enough dinner for leftovers for lunch the next day, we'll definitely do that. Just keeps it nice and simple and quick, especially if you're at work and you don't have a lot of time to cook, um, or even if you're taking care of the kids and don't have a lot of time, it's just nice to be able to pop something in the microwave and be done eating in like 10, 15 minutes. All right, so I'm having one leftover bunless cheeseburger from last night with some avocado oil mayo on top of it and also some homemade ketchup and also one ounce of macadamia nuts. And so this meal is 576 calories, 3.3 net carbs and costs $2.93. All right guys, so for day five, for dinner tonight, we're gonna make some salmon and also have a side of cooked broccoli and also some cheesy biscuits, which are really, really good and really easy to make. So we're just gonna start with some simple ingredients. We got our frozen salmon over here, uh, wild-caught Alaskan salmon we get at Costco, 
Um, so we're going to start by putting this on some tin foil, put the skin side down, and then we're just going to take a little bit of lemon juice and we're going to eyeball most of this stuff. Um, I'll put the um, like estimated amounts that we use for our macronutrients. All right. And then next we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're going to add some garlic powder. And then we're going to do some dill weed. Not too much, just a little bit. And then the last thing we're going to do is some smoked paprika. I mean, this is how we season it. Doesn't mean you have to do the same, right? You can season it any way you want. But just to give you an idea, of an idea for, for seasoning. Okay, after that, we're just going to wrap this up. We've got the oven preheating. I'm gonna put this down right there. All right, so I left a little space here so that we can put our frozen broccoli on here. So you can season it any way you want or cook it any way you want, but what we did is just drizzled some olive oil on it, put some salt and pepper and some uh, garlic powder. Uh, just the, the olive oil gives it a little bit of crisp. Uh, we like to keep it in the oven a little bit longer so it's a little bit more crispy. So we're just gonna put that on here. And so this is just a couple of servings. I think it's like 85 grams of broccoli per person. Um, and so we'll get this start cooking and then we'll move on to making the biscuits. All right, now we're gonna start on the biscuits. So for these cheesy biscuits, you can find several recipes online. We've modified a few recipes that we like. Um, it's really good, it's super simple as well. So we're just gonna start with a base of two cups of almond flour, and then we're going to add in two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, and then next we're going to add in half a teaspoon of sea salt. And then we've got garlic and onion powder. We're gonna do a teaspoon of each. Then next we're going to add in a tablespoon of chopped chives, dried chives, however you want to call it. Then last for the dry ingredients, we're just going to add some pepper to taste so you don't have to measure it out or anything. All right, and then we're going to just whisk this together. Now that the dry ingredients are done, we're going to move over to the wet ingredients. So we're going to just start with a stick of butter, or about four ounces of butter, melted. And then we're going to put in two eggs. Okay, and then we're just going to whisk those together, or mix them together. So you don't want your butter to be too hot, so you wanna make sure that it's melted but not warm because you don't want it to cook your eggs when you're mixing it. Okay, now that the wet ingredients are mixed together, we're just gonna combine the dry and the wet ingredients together. Okay, now that we have that mixed together, it's looking pretty good so far. So we just need to add in a cup of cheddar cheese um, or about three and a half ounces of that. And we're just gonna do kind of a light mix. We don't wanna over mix it here. That's what makes these biscuits, cheesy biscuits and delicious. Okay, now that we got that all mixed in, we're just going to now form about 10 golf ball sized balls. So we'll get those rolled about that big or so. 
So we've got all 10 biscuits ready to go in little balls. They're about the size of a golf ball, right? Maybe a little bit bigger. So we're gonna pop it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and on 350. All right guys, dinner is done. Salmon's out of the oven. Broccoli's done. The biscuits just got done. So we'll take a bite of this salmon, see how, how it tastes. Mmm, that's perfect. Come take a look at this. So we like to cook it in the tin foil because it keeps its moisture and it also makes it nice and flaky, as you can see. Broccoli's nice and crispy. And then let's check out these biscuits, how they turned out. This is the best part of the whole meal. Look at that, nice and cheesy. Man, it's so good, you gotta try this. So the three C's on this meal, 505 calories, eight and a half net carbs, and this costs $4.27. So it's kind of a more expensive meal for the day, but definitely worth it, especially doing it once a week. Uh, we love it, so I hope you like it too. All right guys, so that's it for day five. So I just took my cod liver oil. So the calories today is 1,780. The net carbs is 22 and it costs $10.87. So we went a little over budget, but that's okay. Some days we go under, some days we go a little over. It all kind of balances out and as long as we stay around $10. So thanks for joining us for day five. Hope you join us tomorrow for day six because we've got some great recipes that I think you'll enjoy.